Baltimore is gaining attention for implementing an unconventional drug program through its mobile health clinic, Healthcare on the Spot program. Doctors and nurses go to some of the most drug ravaged communities, offering several healthcare services, including prescribing buprenorphine. It's a painkiller medication that can also help treat opioid addiction by reducing cravings and withdrawal symptoms. Here to talk more about the program, Baltimore Harm Reduction Coalition's Communications Manager, Candy Kerr. Uh, Candy, thank you for being here. Talk more about this mobile health clinic, uh, the organization, and the people that you all are currently helping. So I work with Baltimore Harm Reduction Coalition, and we um, mobilize community members for the health, dignity, and safety of people that are targeted by the war on drugs. We partner with the Spot Van when we do um, direct services and outreach. And so the spot van very specifically has um, nurses and nurse practitioners. And as you named, they sub they prescribe um, buprenorphine as well as um, take care of wound care and, and other, other medical treatments. What BHRC does very specifically is hand out um, supplies to make sure that people who use drugs are doing it as safely as humanly possible and um, can reach other resources that they might need. What do you say, Candy, to critics who would say this is enabling drug use? Um, I would name that people use drugs and people have always used drugs and will continue to always use drugs. Um, harm reduction is aiming to meet people where they're at and making trying to make sure that people are given the choice to use drugs in the best way possible. Um, that doesn't exclude um, abstinence. If people are looking to move towards an abstinence route, we can like point them in that direction. But drug use has been here and will continue to be here. And it is our, I feel like it is our, our duty to make sure that people don't die from overdoses, don't contract HIV or hep C, um, or have um, debilitating wounds. We just showed some of the numbers on overdose deaths in Baltimore alone. How bad has this become in your community? It's been it's been hard, right? Um, I the people I work with, we all have one or many more people that we've lost to uh, the racist war on drugs. Um, it's a really difficult it's really difficult to see people that you love and people um, who are human beings that may or may not be on the street that may be in your friend group um, dying from a poison drug supply or because they don't have access to resources that they need, like the spot van, like Narcan, which is also known as naloxone, the overdose reversal drug, um, and other life-saving um, interventions. What's been the reaction even from those uh, who are in the community challenged by addiction to this mobile health clinic? How do they respond when you all show up? So the spot van, we partner very specifically with the spot van in a neighborhood that we've had um, we've had connections with for years. And so when the spot van came through, because the community trusts us and trusts the work that we do, they they trust the people that are on the spot van, right? The people that are in that van are very nice. They're very kind. Um, they don't use stigmatizing language. They um, are genuinely there to be of service. And so people are excited to be able to access buprenorphine. They're excited to be able to receive wound care. They're excited to be able to talk to someone who treats them like a human being that treats them with respect and dignity. Yeah, building trust and saving lives. Uh, Candy Kerr with the Baltimore Harm Reduction Coalition. Thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.